guys, welcome to another kit unboxing. This month is going to be something different. This is a beauty box which I received from Glossy Box. It retails at £10 a month plus postage and packaging. Um, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So you get this £10 voucher for the Age of Opulence which is a clothes shop. Never looked at it before so I'll go and have a look now. Um, it's very well presented. This box was beautiful. It came in a really sturdy red box with glossy box written over the front. Um, really, really impressed with how it arrived. When you flip open the lid, you can see that you receive a welcome to glossy box with thrill to have you card. On there it just says, we're delighted to be the leading beauty box dedicating our days to bringing you the very best edit of products. Each month we'll send you a luxury beribboned box filled with carefully curated selection of five makeup, skincare and hair must-haves. This box is just the beginning. And then there's a little bit more on there. Um, the presentation was beautiful and then you also received another card in there which just explains a little bit about the products that you have received and a little, I'm guessing, oh from the beauty director, a little edit in there from the beauty director. So it comes wrapped in a ribbon and some lovely red tissue paper. I think they change the colour theme each month. Um, when you open it up you receive two face care i'm guessing samples i received the superfood by body shop himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask i think there's five different options there for you that you could have received and then i also received this hydro face mask 120 hours of hydration i've never seen a face mask like this before and i cannot wait to use it and then I'm just showing you there a bit on the back if you wanted to pause and read. So opening it up, here's my products. The first thing I pull out is this Smoky Eye Pen by Rigel. This RRP is £17. It just says whether you want to create a neat line of jet black along your lash line or blend it out to create a smoky finish, the super rich pigment gel texture and smudging brush mean your options are endless. Um, so you can just see me here trying this out on my eyes. I'm a lot more used to using liquid eyeliner than a, than a pencil so I did kind of find it difficult especially I have quite saggy eyelids, is that, is that a thing? Um, so I'm just going to draw a line with a little flick and then blend it out um, at the end. The, where it says that it's really creamy, I don't think it was that creamy. I've had more expensive eyeliners that I would have paid less than £17 for. That went on a lot creamier than this. Um, but, you know, I thought that this came with a blending brush because it does say the gel texture and smudging brush mean your options are endless. So that's why I'm applying this on my lash line because I thought I could just blend it up with a smudging brush. However, there is no smudging brush. I pulled off the back, I had a look, I couldn't see a smudging brush anywhere. I will have another look to see if there's so, so many anywhere else. I tried twisting it. So I ended up having to use my fingers. Now if I knew I was going to be using my fingers, I would not have put a line along my lash line. I would have kind of put it where I would put my dark eyeshadow. Um, so this isn't really the best technique to show you guys how to use this. I didn't have a brush handy either. Um, so I just kind of blend it out and smudge it across my lids. Um, it blended quite easily. If it blended well with my finger then it would have blended even better with a brush. Um, but yeah, I definitely keep trying with it, keep trying to use it and trying to get the best result. Uh, the next thing I pull out is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I know lots of people who raved about this mascara. The collagen food formula thickens and lengthens lashes and gives them a beautiful inky back black finish. Apply one coat for a suitable boost in volume and carry on building up for a more dramatic finish. I'm assuming this is a small sample because it says here RRP £19. And you can get this from Debenhams. Um, but I wouldn't pay £19 for this really small bottle. Uh, when I take the 
so I'm just showing you my lashes there without anything on. When I take the brush out of the mascara pot, it's extremely clumpy. I should have put my hand behind so you could have seen better instead of wave it in front of the camera, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't have high hopes. So I'm just popping this on my lashes. And I actually become extremely pleasantly surprised. It's a really, really good mascara. I only put one coat on either lash and you will see in a second how much it really did work. Like, and I use um, the Rimmel London mascara, so I don't think you can go wrong. Their brushes are lovely. But yeah, this really, really did lengthen and thicken my lashes. The only thing is, the brush was super, super clumpy. So I did have to kind of pick out clumps once it had dried. Um, but obviously, if you like that, then that's cool. On nights out, I love clumpy eyelashes. <laughs> so that's brilliant. So I'm just taking out some clumps with the brush and then I'm going to do my under eyelashes and then you can really see the clumps on the brush when I do my under eyes. Um, but it really did lengthen my eyelashes and made them lovely, a really thick and a lovely colour. Today is the day after that I'm doing the narration and I woke up, I didn't take it off of my eyes last night but it's completely gone so it's not a stay on forever mascara but I was really really impressed so the next thing I'm pulling out is the Revlon Gel MV Diamond Top Coat top off your favourite nail colour with a swipe of this tough liquor that doesn't just make your money last much longer but gives your nails a fabulous salon worthy shine this RRP is $7.99 and you can get it from Boots uh, my camera isn't the best camera, so I can't really show you, but I'm so happy with this top coat. It is so super shiny, it goes on so easily, it literally drives in less than 30 seconds. It was so quick. I paused my camera so it could dry, so I could show you it at the end, and literally, by the time I had pressed the pause button and had a drink, it was completely dry. It dried so fast, which is what you want, really, isn't it? Um, so you can kind of see how shiny they are, and here I'm comparing the nails. You can tell which one has the lovely top coat on. So I'm so happy with this. It feels amazing. It went on amazing. Super, super happy. The next thing is the, the Original Pharmacy Antioxidant Lip Balm, a rich nourishing balm infused with sheer butter, pomegranate, rose hip and vitamin E to protect and restore lips, use on its own or on top of a lipstick to keep lips super soft and this RRP is at £12. Now I put this over one of my Kylie Jenner lipsticks um, and it my lipstick came off within like 10 minutes. So I wouldn't recommend putting it over a lipstick. Also, it's quite heavy. I'm not really a fan of heavy things on my lips um, and quite sticky. So maybe it's a good thing to wear after before you go to bed because I wake up in the morning with really dry lips. But the scent was lovely. It did feel super soft, but I wouldn't put it over lipstick. So that is my video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. You can find out more information on their website and we'll be doing this again soon with some more beauty boxes. Hope you enjoyed it guys. Bye!